Hey everybody, it's the Reverend Jay Goldstein, and welcome to the first video in my new casual series, Reverend Jay Presents Collections. And what I'm going to be doing each video is showing a series of items that are somehow similar that I've collected over time, either on purpose or incidentally. And this video is going to be the first half of the Wind Up Toys video. Today I'm going to be covering robots and people and the next video I'll be covering things. So let's get started with uh, some wind up toys. Here's one of my favorites. Uh, this is a robot right here as you can see and what I like about it is kind of actually I just found out moments ago that the arms actually do this. I've been playing with this for a while. It's actually in my video robot dance party in one of my earlier vlogs and would have loved to have known that it had a movable arms, but uh, you can also make the head kind of move to the side a little jaunty like that. And it's got a pretty good mechanism, so let's test her out. I think it's a her. And there she goes. And here she comes. So for all of you wearing 3D glasses, that would have done nothing because, of course, this is not in 3D. And you can see it's basically like a little Pixar kind of robot. Like I said, it's got moving hands. Moving head can go pretty much all the way around. And that's what the bottom looks like. Same to you. Okay. Next in our robots and people, we have... Middle-aged Spider-Man. And you can see it's a pretty detailed Spider-Man, except, of course, they got his body fat index, uh, whatever that's called, really wrong. It's got a nice uh, raised spider on the back. I mean, they really did go into some detail on here. I've played with this pretty well, and... Yeah, the mechanism doesn't work as well as it should. However, he's such a big Aussie fan. How can you not love him? Just look at that. Oh yeah. Bang your head, Spidey. So, if we're lucky, it'll run at all. Come on. And that's basically the best as I, I think uh, one of the gears got flattened or something inside and it doesn't work properly anymore. But it's a toy. We don't cry over toys. Anyway, Mr. Atomic. Uh, I know his name is Mr. Atomic. And when I first got him, and for a long time, I didn't realize he actually had a face. I thought he was a faceless robot. But if I look up top, if you look up top, you'll see he actually has a tiny little face up there. Kind of hidden away and protected by his atomic polka dots. He's got big, strong arms. And the robot mechanism in this, the wind-up mechanism, is pretty good. As you can see, he... Of course, the only thing really atomic about this is the fact that he's made out of atoms. As is everything. So you can see the detail here. Uh, okay. Up next. Uh, this is not meant to be an endorsement. Uh, yep, it's Mark Twain, dressed up as Colonel Sanders. Actually, it's Colonel Sanders. And I don't know, I mean, looks like he's been eating way too much of his product. Should have learned a lesson from Scarface. Did not. Uh, and this is just, the way it walks is just so darn cute. Leave that little guy go. For the record, I don't actually eat Kentucky Fried Chicken or KFC, as the kids are calling it these days. Next, when we're talking about robots, how can you not talk about Middle-Aged Terminator? Yeah, this is a Middle-Aged Terminator, just like Middle-Aged Spider-Man. At some point, they decided that they should make uh, superhero characters and stuff that look really, really out of shape. And really out of shape. Guys like me 
bought into it. You can see all the detail work of these little, um, pit, uh, this thing over here. Okay, honestly, this just looks to me like what a kindergartner puts on the side of a popsicle stick cup so you can put pencils in it. Uh, the only thing recognizable to me, I guess it got some sort of a gun here, or is that a, a movie light? <sighs> but it's middle-aged Terminator. You can see him go. You could definitely run away from this guy. And middle-aged Terminator might be a good movie. I mean, Arnold Schwarzenegger could play this Terminator. All right, enough of that. Okay. And now for the Coupe de Gras. Red face robot. Red face robot. See, red face robot. It says it on all the panels. It says red face robot. And, uh, <laughs> oh, I am a cinematographer and a half. Okay, uh, that's all it says. It's just on all the panels. It's just, there's no, uh, no warning. There's no choking hazard here, uh, no uh, choking hazard thing here, so I don't know if I'm actually supposed to choke on it or not. But I kept it in the box because I thought it was such a cute, and this is it. That's, there you go. Ah. Red face robot. Let me make a camera adjustment here, get his full beauty. And the tiny tripod that I have made out of pipe cleaners is not holding up. What a surprise. Okay, there we go. You can do it. And this is Red Face Robot. I think he's great looking. I mean, in his ugliness, that is a great looking robot. He's useful. He has a uh, wrench, or as British people call it, a spanner. He has a radio pack on his back. And you can see it's a, it's a metal toy. It's a modern metal toy. Uh, it's probably made within the last five to ten years. I haven't had it that long. Uh, but what's cool is it comes with a little key. And you all know the key goes into the robot. And you wind her up. You can see this is a pretty superior mechanism in both ability and sound to the others. Here he comes. Would you like a wrench, sir? And that's what he does. He moves forward, which is basically all you can really expect from a uh, a robot wind-up toy. Anyway, so these are the toys that uh, make up the robots and people's category. And the next video will be uh, wind-up toys that are things, that are not robots and people. I hope you'll tune into that. If you like this video, please uh, hit the like button down below the uh, video over there. And I hope to see you next time. Guys, Reverend Jay Goldstein and Collections.